the residential school systems, those instruments of genocide taught us blame and shame. So we blame each other, we blame government, and we shame each other. That's what they taught us, but that's not who we are. So we have to start turning that around. And so that's a big part of it is, yeah, you can, like I keep saying, you can holler and scream and shout all you want, but if you don't do a damn thing about it, it doesn't matter because it stays the same. And that's why what I do is for the children because the children need to be able to stand up and carry forward the voices of our ancestors. And so that's what's important. Not only our children, non-Indigenous children, because it lays in their hands our future because what their adults, their parents and grandparents have been taught is not the true history. Now they'll be taught the truth. What are they going to do with it? That's what's important. And that's why we need to do what we're doing. The message is not about blame and shame. It's about, hey, let's honor each other as human beings and stand each other up to be great and good. What do we, how do we do that? That's what's important. Solutions, not blame. <laughs>